What's crack of lacking dudes and dudettes? It's Ness, and I'm back with another Power Ranger action card game opening. Um, once again, this is the fun series where we are opening up old dead card games, um, particularly the Power Ranger one right now. Um, really enjoying this. Uh, the cards are fun, they're goofy, um, and I got them originally to open with my son, but he is too little. So I am opening them and trying to complete the collection for him uh, so that as he gets older, he can enjoy them. Um, so we are into the fourth set. Um, I have, I can honestly say that uh, one of the things I've been doing is I have been pulling out one single pack to save as a sealed pack for my sealed collection so that we can see the packaging later on if we ever want to. Um, and, uh, these are, so I'm opening 14 packs to see what percentage of the different sets that I can get and, uh, what it takes to really kind of complete these sets. Um, most of these sets are pretty small. Uh, they're about 120 cards, um, I think on average for the four sets. There's obviously a lot of promos. Hunting those down might be time consuming and expensive and maybe impossible. Um, at this point, just because it is old enough now that people are probably really focusing on this game. Um, but I was totally, you know, digging like what these cards are and they are very hard to get into. So a lot of the time I need to take a little bit of extra time here to kind of pop them out to make for better, faster opening. Like they just, they don't, they don't open, man. Um, just these old blister packs are pretty mean. Like, I feel bad shredding them, but there's just no... A lot of the time you can't get to the pack, so... I don't want it to take a long time for the opening, so... I'm trying to get things into a good state for y'all. So, while I'm doing this, uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel out. It lets me know that you guys are liking the content. Um, I want to keep doing more stuff and I want to keep giving more value back to you guys. Um, I have been thinking and thinking and thinking more and more about what different type of videos and series and things like that that I can do um, that help you guys out, that maybe teach you a little bit about the games um, or, you know, about collecting in general. Um, I've been collecting stuff for so long that this is kind of one of those weird products that I found that I was like, this is really cheap and a lot of people like the Power Rangers, so this might be a fun one to have a collection of. And may someday, may, probably won't, but may, uh, pay off to have. Um, nobody ever knows, you know, what's really gonna hold value into the future. I can't predict the future. And, uh, but this is something fun that I love. So even at the end of the day, if it doesn't, accrue any value. I'm not going to be upset about it because I enjoy looking at the cards. I enjoy spending the time with my son. And, uh, you know, it's something that we can share and he can love and enjoy later on. Um, so it doesn't feel like a, a waste of money to me, even though it's not really a playable game anymore. You know, there's obviously no support for it. Um, but this is also something kind of cool because if we go and we meet the Power Rangers, we can take their Power Ranger cards to them and we can maybe get their signatures on them. That would be something very cool and neat to do, right? So that's something that uh, I'm totally down to do. Uh, I think Tommy might even be coming sometime in the next year. Um, Mr. Jason David Frank. Um, and uh, I know uh, Austin, G uh, Austin St. John, uh, who played the original Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, he'll be in town uh, here in Denver in October, so we're gonna go try and meet him. So there's there's definitely opportunities to meet some of the uh, awesome, awesome, uh, oh, let's spoil that. Oh, look, they put this back in. Great. They didn't put it in the last box. I was all excited, because I'm like, yeah, I don't have to deal with this. Um, we got some team up cards going on in this set. Very neat, very cool. Um, like I've said before, there is uh, four different rarities in this card game, and uh, they are common, rare, super rare, and ultra rare. So 
Starting off with a super rare. You're always guaranteed a super rare or an ultra rare in each pack. Um, and you can tell by the card. So up here, the number four, that is the uh, set. So set number four, card 86. And then the empty circle is common. The full circle is your uh, rare. And then the empty star is your super rare. And the full star is your ultra rare. So, so you can know your rarities this game a little fun insert <laughs> them some muscles right there I wasn't ready for that card <laughs> whoa there he is that is dope all right so there's our first ultra rare we got ourselves a sweet mighty morphin green ranger Mr. Jason David Frank, Tommy Oliver. That's that's the card. That's the card I'd probably get signed by him. Wow. Check that guy out. So cool. So cool. Um, okay, well that's probably the card I wanted to pull the most from the set. Uh, <laughs> are we we can be done now? Ooh. Okay, starting off strong here. Psycho Rangers. Psycho Rangers are dope. Um, there's a red Psycho Ranger. We got blue Psycho Ranger. All right. Very cool. Hopefully we get the whole set. Red Super Samurai Ranger. Lauren. And, ooh, Lightspeed Rescue Power Rangers. For the Super Rare. But yeah, that Ultra Rare Green Ranger, man. Ooh. Oh, man. Talk about some goodness there. I'm... I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to add that to the collection. Hang out with Yusuke, man. You guys like wearing green. Yeah, I don't have a Power Ranger playmat, so... We're, we're rocking the, uh, the Yusuke. Um, and I will try and... Yeah, are we gonna not... Are we just not gonna focus? Come here. What are we getting hung up on? He's too high. Where's the focus? Come on. Ooh. Red Alien Ranger, Red Zeo Ranger. Ooh. And the Mystic Force Power Rangers Legend Mode. Very cool. Sometimes I feel like I just fight with the, fight with my camera too much, man. Just, just focus, just stay focused. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's whatever's like the highest, the highest thing is what, uh, is what it wants to focus on. So I'm gonna try and just watch the screen for y'all so you can see Ooh, nice there's a red ranger with the power shield that's sick and ooh, the titanium ranger that's a cool one to pull for sure just definitely wanting to pull him from this set not super a lot of, and the other nice thing is, is a lot of these cards aren't very expensive so like if i don't have them or am i not able to get them the original four sets are not super expensive to complete. Um, a lot of the cards are like $10 or less. Most of the, like the rares are like maybe two bucks. The, um, the super rares are like five. So really not a bad price range on these. So, and like I said, when I made the, when I opened up the first box, ooh, turbo. Did I, already, did I already have turbo? I did not have turbo. Okay, no turbo yet. So we're not making, we're not running into duplication issues. Not yet. Um, so yeah, they, they aren't super duper expensive. Um, I think these cards usually run about five and the, um, the ultra rares run about 10. 
sometimes a little bit more, I guess, if it's like a really famous ranger, maybe. Like, probably that green ranger is probably worth more. Um, but we got him, so we don't have to worry about him. Ooh, duplication. That's, that was quick. That was quick on the duplication there, guys. He must be good or playable or something, because uh, I felt like that. Usually we had a little bit of room before we get duplication like that. I'm sure that, you know, most sets and things like that, they aren't really planning on you like opening things like this, or you're like opening the whole box. Crimson and Navy Thunder Rangers. And Silver Space Ranger. Nice. Okay. There's something different. Um, yeah, none of those. Okay. So, not very many ultra rares. We are at seven, eight packs. Eight packs and only one ultra rare in this set. So, I don't know if they made them more rare in this set to uh, really pull the good stuff or what, but. I am seeing not a lot of ultra rares so far. Ooh, okay, there's a shark attack mode red samurai ranger. That's dope. So there's another ultra rare ranger. And these are standard size cards. So if I never said that, that is, that is the size that they are, so they fit in, you know, any sleeves that Magic or Pokemon can fit in, um, which is great. So, that is one thing I generally like. I'm not a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! because of the fact that they made the cards smaller, but what you gonna do? Space Power Rangers! There's a team card, another super, different set of teams. So, I wonder if we're gonna end up with three ultra rares or four. Because when I opened that first box, they definitely did have, they did have them pack after pack. Um, a couple times, it felt like. So, ooh, gold Zeo Ranger, a jungle, ooh, red SPD Ranger in Sonic mode for another ultra. That is slick. So lick. So three ultra rare rangers. We're doing pretty good, and one of them is the green ranger, who, in my opinion, it might still be the best ranger ever. You know, debate. I'm, I'm, I'm sure people are like debatable. Oh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. There's the time force. Another team. And we do not have the Time Force Rangers on the board yet. So we are still avoiding the duplication minus the uh, the one. So. All right, two more to go. Let's see what we can pull. Let's see what they got for us. All right. Here we go. Looking good so far. Sentinel Knight. Red Sniper. Okay, there's our there's our first duplication other than was it Titanium Ranger? But will we get something different with that other with that that first pack? Does that first pack have another ultra rare for us? Hope so. Last pack. This was technically the first pack in the box. So All right, here we go. Oh, that's the pink Psycho Ranger. So we, I think we got all the all the Psycho Rangers. Gold and ooh, Hurricane Megazord. So only three Ultra Rares on that one. Um, that makes me wonder if the packs that I pulled have Ultra Rare has, has an Ultra Rare in it. Um, but we didn't have we didn't have any Zords yet, so. That is the first sword, so only the two cards is duplication again, just like last time. 
Um, and we'll definitely do an update kind of showcasing the cards once I get them all sleeved and in the binder. Um, so we can kind of look at like, hey, if you open one box of everything, what can you kind of expect as far as completing your collection um, just from doing that? So uh, I feel like that would be kind of a cool video to do next on these. Um, let me know, uh, you know, let me know uh, which of these four sets was your favorite, which of the pulls was your favorite. And yeah, I mean, you just, he's the dude, man. Mr. Mr. Jason David Frank. He's, he's the dude. I know. <laughs>